Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Tonight, we have Monday Night Football, of course. The Eagles taking on the Atlanta Falcons, and Lord, it's been a rough day for us Cowboy fans after yesterday's Molly whooping. Um, we, we want answers. We want answers. And, and to make things work, this is the kind of day that I've had. Um, I went over to the, the grocery store there, right? And I'm picking up some stuff so I can cook some curry chicken for dinner tonight and all that so I can get something to eat. And I'm wearing today my camouflage Dallas Cowboy shirt, okay? Because I'm still a Cowboy fan, but I'm trying to hide. I'm trying to hide, so I figure if I wear the camouflage, maybe I'll blend in and people won't notice to give me a lot of crap. Well, I'm paying for my stuff. I got finished paying for it. And the cashier, the older lady that works there, she's a real nice, sweet lady and stuff, she looks and says, oh, my God. And I'm looking around, what, what? Is, uh, are we being robbed? Are we being, and she's like, she's like, what happened to the Cowboys yesterday? I'm like, oh, shit. I've been found out. She, I said, she said, did, she said, I didn't see the game. She said, I just saw the score. I was like, what the hell happened? She said, did, did Dak screw it up? I said, well, Dak wasn't anything, you know, special or anything. I said, but the defense couldn't stop anybody. They couldn't stop anybody. I was like, they had like five. Six drives straight that just led into touchdowns. I said the game was just, it was just terrible. So I got found out. So if that wasn't bad enough, you know, I have become my dad's bookie. Okay. So, you know, yesterday was not a good day. You know, yesterday was a bad day for like, you know, the, the better teams in the NFL, or maybe they're not better. We just thought they were better. They all lost. Okay. So my dad was 0-3 yesterday betting. He was 3-0 the week before, so he's basically where he started. And he called me up and said, well, he said, let me put $25 on the Eagles. I'm like, Dad, Dad, I can't. I said, I can't. I, I, said, I, you know, I said, I know you're, I'm your bookie now with Bet U.S., I know I'm your bookie right now. I said, but I can't root for you. But he said, well, well, he said, how about I take the under then? I'll take the under. But I said, no, you know what? I said, I can root for the Eagles to lose, but root for them to cover. So that's, that's my plausible deniability that I can have with that. So if you are into gambling or want to try, and, and I tell you, it, it's great because, you know, every time there's a football game, I'm talking to my dad. So that's a great thing. Um, Definitely check out BetUS, where right now, if you use the promo code U2150, you can get a bonus 150% matching, up to $2,000. So hit BetUS today. So that's where we are with the day that I had, and we've got the Eagles coming up in a couple of hours, so we'll be live streaming that tonight. But we as Cowboy fans, after being mollywopped, being embarrassed, um, want answers, we want answers to what the hell happened. Now, to his credit, I'm going to say Micah Parsons, he's a stand-up guy. Because Micah Parsons, you know, he's got his podcast. See, if you're going to talk the talk, you got to walk the walk. So Micah Parsons, you know, even though he got molly whopped, he showed up today. And before everybody says, well, shh, that's why we lost, because he's doing podcasts. Bro, they ain't doing nothing today. They, they're not working out. You know, you, what, 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 what you going to do for this hour of getting a foot put in you? If anything, I will say that people commenting to him and telling him y'all sucked is probably a good thing at this point because you need, don't need to have any illusions that it's okay. No, Cowboy fans want a pound of flesh. So let's listen to Micah Parsons here in his own words about what happened. My biggest takeaways from that game. Biggest one, takeaways. The effort was not there. No kidding. All 11. It doesn't matter who plays well, who didn't play well. The effort by all 11 wasn't there. The basic fundamentals of the game of football was not there. And, you know, at the end of the day, you have a standard of who you are during training camp and throughout this process to get you ready for the season. We didn't uphold that standard. That wasn't the Dallas Cowboys that I saw or I knew that showed up last week. It was not the same team this week. Was it, was it the preparation? What was it? I don't know, but I'm determined to get this thing right. As you said, I'm trying to step up this year. I'm trying to be that guy for our team, and we have to be a whole lot better. And it's going to start. It started today. I feel like we made a big jump. Obviously, breaking down the film, it was, it was hard to watch. You know, at the end of the day, we made a big jump. You know, coming on to the show, coming out live, 
you know, it's hard to talk about the losses. It's hard to take it. But anyway, we got to take this loss and learn from it, right? It's early in the season. It's kind of reminders to the Broncos a couple years ago, Arizona last year. But the championship's not one right now. We got a whole lot of time to get this together. We got a whole lot of time to keep getting better. And this is going to be a big week to kind of get better. We're going to get more into Baltimore um, down the line. But, you know, it, it. but for right now, let's just focus on Cowboys. You know, the fans have a lot of questions. Um, what was the difference between this week and last week? Honestly, um, to my standard and level, I wouldn't say there's a big drop off. But, you know, I don't know if it was a, just an earlier game or, you know, but, you know, we weren't flying to the ball the same way. Uh, we weren't striking blocks the same way. Um, we weren't playing complimentary football. And I keep telling you guys, complimentary football is so big in the NFL. Special teams has to be clicking. Offense has to be clicking. Defense has to be clicking. And we just weren't clicking defensively. Um, I thought Dak played a really good game. Um, and we did not help our quarterback. Okay. So... Yeah. I've never seen tackle this poorly in football in my whole life. 27 years of coaching. That's the worst exhibition for tackle. Coach, what do you think of your uh, professional debut? What's it like in the professional ranks? Anything special? Well, we didn't block. No. But we made up for it by not tackling. We didn't block, but we made up for it in not tackling. Yeah, that was just a, a piss poor performance. I don't know if the Cowboys went into that game believing the hype from the week before. You know, I, I I had I had a brain fart as I was watching the pregame shows. Because what always happens to us, what always happens to us is we can never seem to have nice things. Whenever it seems like the Cowboys finally get it together. The shit goes downhill. And when I was watching the pregame shows and looking at everybody looking and picking the Dallas Cowboys to win, I thought in the back of my mind, oh shit, here we go. Because when we're expected to do something, it seems like that's when we fail. Everybody expected us to blow out the Green Bay Packers. And I don't know if the players are watching the stuff on there and thinking, well, we got this, you know, <laughs> I'm going to save myself for next week. We got the Ravens next week. So, you know, it's New Orleans, man. And New Orleans just beat up on a really bad team. So that, that that's not it. No, this is football. This is football. Because Carolina is not going to go, you know, 0-17 this year, even with Andy Dalton starting now. They're going to beat somebody. They're going to beat somebody. And the thing is, is you got to make sure that you're not the one that's losing to sorry teams or good teams. Because you got to go in there like the people you play stole something from your mama. You got to go in there every single week pissed off and ready to go to war. That didn't happen yesterday. That did not happen yesterday. But here's the good thing. You got 17 opportunities to prove that you're one of the ones that deserve the right to try and get a Super Bowl. They've used two of them up. You got 15 more opportunities. There you go. See you guys at 8 o'clock. Peace out.